Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with another video today and today we are doing a very requested video. I've got tons of DMs and comments asking me to compare the Gimme More Colourpop Highlighting Palette with the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. Now I am going to be focusing more on the Colourpop um, palette because this is brand new to me. I've only used it once. Whereas this, I feel like I've used it tons on my channel. You can see how much I've used it. I love this palette. Definitely worth the money. If you are in the UK, grab it. I think it's a available in Ulta in the USA as well so grab it actually I keep saying it's 10 pounds but I checked the website and it's actually eight pounds like eight pounds that makes it one pound a highlighter but yeah today we are mostly focusing on the color pop I'm gonna be swatching I'm gonna be applying and then later on in the video I will compare so I got this palette from Colourpop's actual website they do do free international shipping over $50 um, and at the time my order did come up to $50 however this palette by itself I'm looking for the price but it doesn't say I believe it was either 16 or 18 dollars it was really really cheap and affordable in my opinion I think 18 let's say 18 dollars okay so 18 dollars I believe is about 14 15 pounds so it's not that much more expensive than the makeup revolution one but it is more money I suppose so it comes in a box like this bright vibrant neon orange box and it says give me more color pop it also tells you the names of the highlighters on the back but I think it does that on the back of the palette as well yeah so you don't need the outer case to know the names which I absolutely love it is printed on the back so on the front it says I like your face and it is white so it will get very grubby very quickly however I think it is like a wipeable definitely wipeable easily cleaned thank god so yeah the packaging doesn't bother me if it did not clean then I would say white was a bad idea but it works so when you open this palette up it says Colourpop up there hashtag Colourpop me and it also has like Colourpop me Colourpop me all like in very I don't know if you can see that I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera but this is what the highlighters look like first of all I love the shade selection this color is gorgeous this color is gorgeous they're all gorgeous I mean they would all work for multiple skin tones so I'm gonna use two brushes to apply my highlight I'm gonna start with a fan brush which usually diffuses the product it doesn't come out as pigmented and then I'm gonna use a more dense compact brush and this is the blank canvas brush this brush is from coastal Scents, like a 20 pound set that I got eight years ago um, and then this one is a blank canvas f15 brush so i'm going to be using both of them to show you guys the difference in application also i'm going to try use as many shades as i can um so i think down my nose i'm going to take the lightest shade just a little bit of that wow and i'm just going to dust this down my nose whoa that gives a really really sharp line doesn't it <laughs> too sharp but you can definitely tell that is like a light yellow gold. The only thing, and this happened the last time I was applying the highlight when I first used this, I've only used it once. So when I was using it before, as you're applying it, you do get quite a lot of fallout, which I've never experienced with a highlight before. So I don't know if you can see, I'm highlighting my nose, but it's also like giving me fallout around my nose. It's just really, really powdery, but then again, it is really, really pigmented. So I don't know. It doesn't bother me too much. It's giving me a really nice defined nose because I'm going to clean off my brush now I'm going to skip this shade just because pinky highlights light icy pinky highlights sorry are not my thing so I'm going to move on to this one I will swatch it for you guys though so if you want to see very very light this would be good for pale skin tones but it's really really icy on me so I'm going to move on to the next which looks like a really cool orangey gold I don't have a highlighter like this at all guys can see that yeah I have nothing like this this is so unique in my opinion hope you can see that so yeah I'm gonna start applying it with my fan brush first and then we'll use the other brush after yeah it's definitely very sheer so if you would like to go with less product you're not really about the blinding highlights then use a fan brush you get a glow, but you don't really get a highlight, you know? So I'm gonna try use the blank canvas brush, same color, and apply. So I hope you can see you get a lot more reflection with that color. 
I meant with the brush. It is very, very gorgeous. It is a really nice shade, but on my face it is kind of just looking gold. I thought I'd get like a duochrome orangey gold, but it is just looking gold. Um, so yeah, let's try something else. So next I'm gonna go in with this shade down here, which is like a rose gold rather than an orange gold. It is more like a pinky gold. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love that reflection. So we're gonna do one more shade, which is this shade down here. And I'm just gonna put this on my chin just for the sake of it. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous kind of metallic icy color. I usually don't like uh, chin highlights. I don't know why the hell I did that. <laughs> I'm also gonna blend this out a little bit so it just doesn't look like shimmer sitting on my skin. Okay, so once I've actually blended it in, it does look like a glow now. It definitely looks like a glow. I think I just had to get rid of the excess powder. Okay, so you have seen the ColourPop highlighters applied. So what we're gonna do is compare it to the Makeup Revolution. Of course, I can only do this for your swatches because my face is complete with highlighter already. So these are how the two palettes look side by side. Very, very similar colors, I suppose. The only kind of unique color in this palette is the orangey gold, which is what I said. I said I don't have anything like this in my collection. I love it but then when you put it on it kind of just comes off as a gold and um, there's no real orange tone to it it kind of just looks gold on my skin tone at least so I'm gonna begin by swatching the first color in Colourpop and do you guys see the powderiness on my finger I'm gonna give you guys a close-up so this is the first shade from Colourpop and I hope you guys can see what I mean about powdery yes there is tons of reflection from this highlight which I love but there is tons of powder as well and I literally did like two swirls around but then again it could mean that it is so pigmented you don't need this much product which is why it turns powdery um, and I'm not quite sure we'll see so yes we're gonna swatch the first shade from Colourpop they do feel very, very soft though, but you can see that gather up of powder right there. Uh, they feel so silky, so silky, and they have a nice reflection. This shade is a little bit ashy, but you saw when I put it on my nose, it wasn't ashy. Um, I'm gonna take the first shade. <laughs> I haven't actually used this shade in the Makeup Revolution palette, <laughs> but I've used all of these shades down here, but not this one, because it is way too icy for me, but I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So here we have the Makeup Revolution swatch, and can you see the reflection on that? It does not have any powder at all. All. I'm gonna put them side by side. So here we have a close-up. This one is the Makeup Revolution one and then this one is the Colourpop one. So as you can see, Colourpop is a lot more powdery. Makeup Revolution has like a reflective glow to it. Like, I don't know how to, to explain this, but it looks really, really silky on my finger, whereas the Colourpop one looks very powdery. So I'm gonna swatch the Makeup Revolution one here just as silky very very soft a little bit more icy than the gold one um colourpop has a hint of gold it's like an icy gold so i'm going to swatch this one in the makeup revolution palette which has a little bit more gold to it an icy gold once again there's literally no fallout with the makeup revolution one and it's so smooth on your finger you can barely even see your fingerprint and that's why it glides over the skin so nice so i'm going to swatch here Still not the same as the Colourpop one, so I guess it is very unique, the Colourpop one. Um, and then these two are the Makeup Revolution ones. They both are very pigmented, both really good reflections. So next in the Colourpop palette, we have this one right here, which is another icy pink shade. And this one, remember, I didn't want to swatch it because it is too icy for me, but I'll do an arm swatch for you guys. definitely a very icy pink color so next in the color pop palette we have the orangey gold and like i said i don't have anything like it so i'm not going to compare it to the makeup revolution palette but i'm going to swatch it for you guys so you can see it does kind of apply more of a peachy gold than oh that swatch is not that great let me pick up some more products that's a bit better okay so it has like a coral gold tone to it let me put this palette down uh coral gold tone but on the face you could see it picks up just gold on me so next in the color pop palette we have this shade which is actually like a pinky gold like i said so i'm gonna swatch that here 
Oh wow, that shade is really powdery. Let me blend that in. It's like falling out all over my, oh! I hope you can see the difference in them. The top one has a bit more gold and then the bottom one is more like a pinky icy gold. So I'm gonna compare that to this one here in the Makeup Revolution palette. And this pinky color in this Makeup Revolution palette is not my favorite favorite okay so here we have a swatch of the makeup revolution pink one this one definitely has a lot more pink a lot more pink as you can see this one's like a pinky lavender almost this one is an icy pink and then this one is a orange pinky gold so they are all different actually which surprised me but they're all gorgeous. Then next in the ColourPop palette, we have this shade right here, which kind of looks like the standard champagne gold that every palette has or every highlighter is made. This one is super powdery. And then let's give it a swatch. They swatch so nice, but they are really powdery. So don't say I didn't mention it because I've said it like a thousand times in this video. But yeah, that swatched beautifully. It looks gorgeous, more of a champagne than a gold, but I'm not complaining, it looks good. In the Makeup Revolution palette, it kind of looks like all three of these, but I'm gonna go with this one because it is a tad bit darker than these two. So I'm gonna use this one to compare. And then that is what the Makeup Revolution, they're pretty spot on, if I say so myself. An exact dupe for the first time in this whole video. And last but not least from the Colourpop palette, we have this shade right here, which I said I'm not a huge fan of. It is like a rosy, icy colour. Oh, it actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I think on my face it came off a bit too icy, but when you actually swatch it, it does kind of have like a peach shift to it. It looks really, really nice. I hope you guys can see. I might give this colour a second chance actually, because I kind of ray it off quite quickly, um, but it looks really nice. It's like a rosy, icy highlight but not that much ice i think i could make it work because i used it on my chin like i'm not gonna like anything i put on my chin <laughs> and then in the makeup revolution palette i am not seeing a dupe that my eyes can see i can't see anything similar to that color but i'm gonna swatch this one just to see if it could be similar but i don't see any highlighter that has that rose undertone to it this one i'm swatching now has more of a champagne tone yeah i thought so it's not the same okay so my final thoughts on the ColourPop palette is it worth the money it's definitely worth the money. You definitely get some good highlighter shades in there. You get six shades to pick from. They are very unique, different shades. Um, $18 is really not much to part with and you get such a gorgeous palette. You get tons of product. I can already see there's tons of highlighter in there. I've swirled around a couple of times and I, ha I haven't even made a dent. Um, so you do get a lot of product in this palette. The price is right in my opinion. The colors are gorgeous. The only negative or the only bad thing that I can tell you guys about this palette is the full fallout and the powderiness of the palette it doesn't really settle into your face like a highlight and look like a glow it kind of sits on top of your face like a shimmer until you go in with your powder brush and kind of buff it in then it kind of blends into your skin but until then it kind of just sits there like a strip of shimmer which I'm not really a fan of whereas the makeup revolution one blends into the skin perfectly it gives this kind of lit from within or glow from within type of look without needing to blend it too much so I definitely recommend the makeup revolution one over the ColourPop one but if you are looking into the ColourPop one and you want to know if it's worth the money or not it's definitely worth the money if you want to buy it I would say go for it but if you want to decide which one to get out of the two definitely go with the makeup revolution one I feel like the formula is better you get more colors and it's cheaper so yeah so yeah that is my review slash comparison on the ColourPop give me more palette it's not actually give me more it's give me more palette and then we have the makeup revolution ultra pro glow palette so i hope my thoughts made sense if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment i will get to you i will reply eventually so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye